The conference is called A Complex Recipe. Why food is about more than what we eat, nutrition, power and the environment. The environment and the ability to produce food are inextricably linked. In the 21st century, inequality comes in multi-layered and multifaceted forms. For a country of our size, 1.2 billion people with 863 million people food insecure, food sovereignty is essential. It's a privilege for me to be here with all of you and to welcome you to the inaugural event of the Oxford India Centre for Sustainable Development. OIC is taking complex problems by people, organisations and sectors working together. Government working together with NGOs working together with business. There are many different lenses with which you can view the food system. Our normal ways of talking and debating just aren't good enough for really looking at the complexity of what's going on. That's why we've got you all here. That's why we've put all these different people on the same table. So you've got to talk across your different disciplines. You've got to talk across your different sectors. We discussed undernutrition, we discussed overnutrition, we discussed corporate powers, the destruction of ecosystems, then we discussed sustainability. So a very large number of issues were discussed. What has been really obvious over the last day and a half is how many different trade-offs we actually have to make. Why should you need fortified food in the first place? Both the diversity and the quality of what we're consuming is coming down. Micronutrient deficiency is a hidden hunger. WHO estimates that more than 2 billion people suffer from micronutrient deficiencies. We must come to grips with the politics of biotechnology, the politics of genetic engineering. How do we end hunger? Can we do it? The answer is yes, and in our lifetime. We have the technology, we have the means, we have the resources to do that. How do we come together to articulate this and make hunger a thing of the past? This is why I'm here, and I hope to contribute positively towards this debate. I think it's worked really well to have talks, which we then discuss in our groups. Climate change is a very real problem, but also becomes a suitable villain to peg a lot of things on. Things that were driven by human agency. Having an artist as well visually represent the discussions, that in itself has been inspiring. In India, 43% of children remain underweight and 48% are stunted. And educating and empowering women is key to ensuring better nutrition outcomes. What was important for us is to share these ideas. So different people have different approaches, different people have different understandings of why we have problems. What we really can't do is just ignore each other. We have to understand where different people fit in within the system. And so for that reason, we've tried to have as much time where people can share ideas in an informal setting as well. You could meet such a wide variety of people with different thought processes. To be able to get people from such diverse geographies, we have economists, we have researchers, we have people who specialize in deep sea fishing, to people who look at farming practices. I think it's been brilliant. Speaking in an international setting, I must, I must stress that these are shared responsibilities. Progress, what's a good food system for the 21st century, is our big common agenda. How can we get a grip of this? when frankly policymakers have not got a grip of it, well that is what this conference should resolve.